Hey guys, how you doing? It's Oz from Gianna's Towing, and uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to put a car on a wheel lift for a old school Jordan type one like mine. Uh, I got the ball on there. I should be okay leaving it on there. It kind of usually messes with the clearance a little bit, but I don't have the tools to take it off, so um, it's gonna be a little interesting to do it. I uh, probably should have took that off first, but I didn't, and we're out in the field, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load it. All right, uh, first and foremost, uh, you know, sometimes you're gonna back up into it, but the way I got the car and everything right now, uh, it's in a real easy thing to where I could just put the wheel lift down and kind of roll the car into it. I recommend doing it that way, um, just because you can manipulate the car a little bit easier to, to move the car instead of having to move the truck all around. So I'll go ahead and put my wheel lift down. You want to slide these out, get them to slide. You want to grease those regularly. Make sure you get all the gook and all the grime out of there. Otherwise, um, they stick. And then you got to sit there and beat on them. And it just pulls a lot of time like this one. Always, actually, it was the other one that stuck before. And now that one's the one that's sticking. So what I'll do is, let me see here. Let me roll my butt back. I get my wood. Stick that bad. Kind of work it back and forth. There it goes. Oh, there goes my knee. Okay. Now we got that unstuck. There it goes. Go ahead and roll the car into position here. Now we'll get it close, not all the way so we can see where the bars are. So it looks like I'm pretty straight. That'll go nice. That'll fit on good. Move this a little bit out more and then that one should be okay. They're about lined up good right there. And that one, I can come over to the left a little tiny bit when I steer, and that should be okay. Looks like I came over a little bit far. That's all right. Move that over. Okay. Now we're in position. Throw the car forward a little tiny bit more. Okay, now she's tight. I'll do it in park. Just a tad. Don't forget to lock down your little T-bars in there and tighten them all the way. And tight is always good. So I ran into a little problem. My tow hitch is not letting me clear the ground and I don't have the tools to take it off. But this is good guys, because guess what? 
this type of stuff happens in the field. It's not always going to be perfect. You're going to always run into problems out in the field, period. So instead of screwing around, I'm just going to jack the car up because, you know, I can go try to go find the wrench and everything to take it all off and all that. But and I will. I, it's my mistake. I left it on there from another uh, call I had to do. So we're gonna lift the car up. Once the car's up, I can go ahead and slide these in. That's out all the way. And um, let's see if it locks. It locks in a real good position. So now that I got that on there like that, I can lower the jack on this side and then bam. And the only difference is I'm gonna have to repeat this process to do it, but I'd rather do that than mess up this dude's oil pan or, or any of that. So I'm really happy with the way that's sitting there right there. And yeah, I could have canceled the video and stuff and whatever, but that's not being real. You know, I, you're gonna run into mistakes. That's what I want you guys to learn. You know, if I didn't shoot this, you wouldn't know how to correct this problem or you, you might then you're gonna be like, dang, I see Nas do it this way. And I've done this before, like this. So same thing with this side, just gonna jack it up. get it high enough so I can fit my um, L-arm underneath there. Just gotta come out a tiny bit. I'm happy with that right there. As always, lock your T-bars and then um, we'll grab our L-bar. Same deal. That's it. And we'll go ahead, raise her up. You want the headlights kind of poking over, just barely poking over. I've always had luck with them like that. Never scratched anything or damaged anything. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess I can show you guys how to do the straps real quick. Uh, if you should have a tow light to put on the back, you know, so when you're in tandem, you always should have uh, some kind of indicators, flashing lights or whatnot. And then you're gonna take your strap, take one of these finger hooks right here. I find work the best. But when I buy them, I always buy these with the finger hooks on them. And then what I always like to do is to um, take this, straddle it, come over. And then kind of get it to where it grabs it going this way since you're pulling from that way. Yeah, that one won't, well, I guess it will fit in there if I did it the lasso way, which is the other way. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either come in like this and then come in right here. Sometimes I'll do it that way. Well, let's try it the lasso way, see how that works. Which, you know, a lasso would be just to um, push this inside here like so. Come over the top. Like so.
and then that's it. You can do it either way. I kind of like this way better than the other way. And then she's lassoed in. She's ready for transport. As always, everybody, please like and subscribe. I'll go ahead and clean this up. You guys don't got to be around for that. Have a good one. Happy towing. Towing positivity. Positivity towing. <laughs>